When it was finished, all of Israel turned out to dedicate it back to the Lord. All the Levitical singers and their sons and kinsmen, clothed in fine linen, with cymbals, harps, and lyres, standing east of the altar, and with them 120 priests, blowing trumpets in unison. When the trumpeters and the singers were to make themselves heard with one voice to praise and glorify the Lord. Then the house, the house of the Lord, was filled with a cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. I can still hear it like it was yesterday. On the same day, I consecrated the middle of the court that was before the house of the Lord, because there I offered the burnt offering and the grain offering and the fat of the peace offerings. However, my son, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is loving kindness, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. The blood from the sacrifices that day flowed heavily, but the purpose of the basins and the great sea goes beyond the cleansing of the utensils and the priests. The Lord was, and still is, faithful and just to pardon our sins, but just as the sacrifices that we do represent our deliverance and forgiveness, so do the basins and the great sea represent our continual need to be cleansed from that sin. One day, one day, when the Messiah comes, he will pay for our sins once and for all, and we will be united with our God.